hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so this will be a continuation of tutorial on grafana loki and promptail so in this tutorial we are going to set up uh, the loki promptail and grafana architecture using docker compose okay so we have seen uh, using a normal uh, centos setup and also we have seen how to do it with uh, respect to docker containers in a general setup right now we are going to use docker compose file so the architecture would be like you'll have some log files so what we are going to use we are going to uh, you know send these logs file to loki so for that we are using promptail which will be a you know the you know, medium which will collect these logs and then it will be sending to uh, loki which will be a log aggregation tool right and this loki you know what it will do is we will use this loki uh, to integrate with grafana so you can see grafana uh, getting all this data and we'll be able to create some dashboard or those kind of things so we'll be doing in this tutorial using docker compose so all, by docker compose we'll create services for promptail loki and grafana we'll configure the you know uh, yaml files for the promptail configuration loki configurations so all those will be set up in the docker compose and with just a simple you know docker compose up you will be able to have all the services for promptail loki and grafana running and you will have everything set up so if you don't know uh, some information about grafana loki or promptail which you know if you have not seen my previous tutorial i would request you to check that for just to recap what is promptail promptail is a client which fetches uh, you know the logs and forward the logs to loki so that's the basic use of promptail and the uh, loki is you know as highly scalable and highly available multi-tenant it's a log aggregation system and it's based on inspired based on prometheus so grafana you may be knowing like if you don't again if you don't know like it's a visualization tool uh, which supports loki as one of data source if you can also use it uh, with other tools like prometheus or mysql or different other databases also you can set up with grafana so in this tutorial for uh, grafana loki and promptail to set up on docker using docker compose what we will do is we'll be creating the config files for loki and promptail so i will show you those config files and i will give the link for my github location so you can download it from there and we'll also create the containers for loki promptail and grafana using docker compose services and once you set up all the containers we will set up loki as a data source in grafana and uh, then we will be able to analyze the data in, in the loki data database uh, in the grafana itself so that will be the overall uh, agenda for this uh, tutorial so before i get into the actual demo i would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also the bell icon so you'll be notified if there are new videos are uploaded and also i would request you to like uh, my videos share and comment so let's get started so i'm in a docker machine okay so in this i have created uh, two folders one for loki and one for promptail okay and uh, let's get started uh, also with the config files so we need uh, actually two config file one for the loki and one for promptail so loki uh, this is how the config file will be uh, looking like so what is the ports and you know it, it have few information over here uh, the replication you know the chunk so this is a standard uh, format so you can download it so if you want to make some changes you can make it change uh, the changes accordingly so if you see the working directories uh, you know it's, it's uh, gives some scrapping information like what we are scrapping and you know uh, the alert manager and those kind of things okay so this is the basic template so i will give you the link for this uh, in my github so you can download it from there and the same way for uh, promptail so what is the listening port and uh, you know what is the client url so this is what uh, something which you need to be very clear like uh, if you are pushing to loki 3100 which is the port number and uh, there's the client to which we are pushing the data uh, from promptail okay so this has to be very clear so if you are using some ip address or some other server name you can use that as well and the scrap information we are going to use the var the var logs so whatever is there inside that which will be also uh, indexed uh, to the loki or it will be seen in the grafana once you complete the setup now let's moving on to this um, uh, you know our docker compose file we have three services okay one is for loki one is for promptail and one is for grafana so now the images you can see i'm using the grafana loki 2.2.1 which we have used in the previous uh, 
tutorial as well we downloaded uh, using docker pool right and the port we are going to use uh, 3100 which is used for locky and the volume so you know i'm setting a volume uh, this is the location where i just showed you i created two folders so it's under root uh, prompt tail uh, locky and the locky is the folder under which i'll be keeping uh, this config file locky hyphen config.yml so when the when this command is run it will be able to map this file uh, into that uh, you know setup so it will be able to collect uh, you know the details we set up in the uh, config file okay so that's the basic agenda uh, of this volume and the network i'm just creating a network so that all this uh, all three services are in the same network okay now moving to the prompt tail again if you are we are using the prompt tail image okay so 2.2.1 uh, I think that's the latest one if you have some of the new versions you can change that as well and there's uh, volumes you know I'm using um, var.log to just save the logs for prompt tail and again I'm using this prompt tail locky uh, prompt tail folder where I'll be keeping this prompt tail config.yml okay so if you see I'm setting this into the inside the container so once the config dot file is run it will be able to map this uh, config file Okay, and the Grafana is very simple. I'm just using the latest Grafana image and the port uh, 3000. Okay, so all these uh, three services are in the same locky network. So just make sure that the names and everything are correct. If you're keeping in some different folders and all those things, you have to change it based on your uh, need. Okay, and uh, if you see these uh, volumes, I'm using a direct uh, mount points. If you are using uh, uh, docker volumes then you have to add uh, different uh, entries into the service as well like volumes and you have to give that name as well so now let's move on to the uh, machines or docker machine so let me go to locky fol folder okay so you can see this is the folder which we have set into the uh, docker compose file as well right so i have already copied uh, the content for locky config.yml so if i just read this file you can see this content which uh, i showed you uh, you know in that uh, yaml file right so i've just copied that the same thing i have done it for uh, prompt tail as well so if i go to prompt tail i have a file called prompt tail uh, config.yml right so this is the same thing which i showed you in the visual studio code the content i just copied it here so now if i move on uh, to create so now i have to create a docker compose file so i'll just create docker compose and dot yaml okay and i'm just going to copy the content uh, from the visual studio code so i'll just copy this content from here and i'll just paste uh, it into this uh, docker compose file now uh, let me just uh, run this so if you see i have the docker compose file i have the locky folder prompted folder inside those yaml file are there now i'll just run docker compose up I can use hyphen D in the detach mode for uh, running uh, the services in the detach mode, but I'll run it as it is so you can see what is happening on the screen. So now it's getting started. Now you can see deploy the Docker SOM, you know, it's trying to create uh, the, you know, the services. Okay, so let's just wait for this to be completed. Now you can see it, it has uh, created a prompt tail. Uh, it's uh, looking for this var file, right? And it's trying to clean it. Uh, it's trying to upload it to the index in Loki. So that should be done. Grafana is also ready. So what we can do is now we can try to access these things through a web browser. Now you can check the uh, prompt tail uh, uh, metrics using uh, uh, this. Uh, the locky metrics you can run it with uh, 3100 metrics then you can go to ready and you can confirm you know the locky is ready now you can see that uh, locky is uh, set up correctly now you can go to 3000 to access uh, grafana so you can see we have grafana also running you can see you know we have to configure the data sources now so once you default login you know you will have to enter admin an admin as user id and password and you know you can set up a new password and you have to if you are new to doing this you'll have to set up a you know data source you can search for loki and you can add the loki and here you need to enter the data source which should be 
the IP address uh, of your host machine and it should be 3100 uh, for Loki port right and then you have to go and save and test so you can see that a source is connected and updated so once that is done it's the you will be able to see the Loki data source added up and you will be able to see this um, as completed now we can go to create dashboard or you can go to explore and in the explore you can try to run some queries so in the explore you know I will just uh, enter some uh, queries or so uh, since under war there is a boot dot log so I'm just going to search with that name so I have shown all these things in my previous tutorial so you can just have a look so now we can see we are getting the data uh, from Loki to the prompt tail right uh, sorry from uh, Loki to the Grafana right so prompt tail is sending these uh, logs to Loki and from there we are added into Grafana so now you can make use of this data which is coming from Loki to create some dashboard or to make alerts those kind of thing you should be able to do it you can also run with jobs uh, war logs so you can run with that as well so you should be getting some data here and you can also go to your home create your dashboard and you should be able to search uh, some queries here as well so you should be able to get some data or you can search for the query browser you should be able to see the data coming in so based on that you should be able to create some data charts and all those things which I'm not going to show you now so uh, you can uh, work uh, work on that I just want to show you how the data will be coming from uh, you know prompted to Loki and Loki to Grafana so this tutorial is not based on creating dashboards or charts which I have uh, created separate tutorial on Grafana you can have a look into that so what we have done in this tutorial like we configured the logs uh, uh, which need to be monitored using uh, the config files and the prompt tail collected those logs and sent it to the Loki, uh, the log aggregation system and from Loki we have sending into Grafana so all these things we did it with the uh, docker compose uh, simple command so just uh, you know uh, run it so it will create all the services and all the data will be start flowing in uh, by default so that is all for this tutorial i hope uh, it's an informative tutorial for you so if you are new to my channel or if you want to watch more videos uh, from my channel click on the subscribe button and also i would request you to click on the bell icon and also like my videos share and comment